Hello, everybody. This is Francesco Rulli. I am the CEO of Querlo. I'm also the uh, Digital and Cognitive Officer of the Duomo Florence. And today here I'm with Fred Strammer, who is a professional sailor and also the founder of um, an organization, uh, Sailing Performance Training, uh, that he started uh, uh, recently. So, Fred, if you can actually share with us a little bit more insights about your professional life. Absolutely. Um, thank you for having me. Um, for the last decade, um, my background is focused on athletic performance and sailing, starting with my undergraduate degree in psychology with heavy focuses in cognitive science, neuroscience, and biology. I uh, then began an Olympic campaign for the 2016 Games in the 49er. Um, I continue to be a professional sailing athlete, and I am the co-owner of Sailing Performance Training, which is a remote fitness coaching service dedicated to sailing athletes. Uh, now I am shifting my focus to disruptive technologies, including blockchain and Web 3.0, which were areas of focus uh, during my MBA. Uh, this is a dynamic opportunity that will reach uh, an impact similar to that of the internet and personal computer and has real opportunity right now for the sailing world. Very interesting. So tell us a little bit what are your thoughts about the role of artificial intelligence and technologies in the space of sailing, and specifically also the space of uh, competitive sailing in which it's a little different from regular, you know, uh, vacation sailing, let's say. Yeah, well, I mean, as a sport, um, I think that the sailing world has been really slow to adopt changes in technology, right? Um, the industry reports for the last decade have been trending pessimistically, and that's really because there hasn't been a huge investment into digitalization, including, you know, things like AI um, or utilizing the technologies of blockchain, right? So the, the, simple, the simple value propositions, like a comprehensive database that records regattas or sailor rankings and news, you know, that's, that doesn't really exist. You know, the, the existing services are mostly fractured and only provide really like marginal improvements to the previous systems. Um, not to mention these services really only came around in the last few years. So the sport of sailing is still very offline, but there is huge opportunity to really use these new technologies, including, including AI to connect the whole sailing network from both the grassroots bottom to, you know, the pinnacle at the top. Very interesting. And uh, where do you see the, um, let's say the application also of um, uh, NFTs in the space? I think NFTs are a really um, salient solution and opportunity for the sport right now. Um, we see NFTs being applied in other sports, like in soccer and football in the NBA. And, it's really galvanizing not only um, you know player interest but also um, consumer interest, sports fans. Right now, individuals can become members and and have ownership of items of teams. Right, and these other sports have already figured out that there is opportunity to provide new revenue models based on the NFT space. Right, and the blockchain um, technology. Um, so for organizations like or sports like sailing that are still very niche and, um, you know, still very offline. This can be, this can really revolutionize our sport in a really positive way through increased engagement and through new revenue models. I know uh, you asked me the question about AI, but uh, you're actually the expert on AI, right? Um, you have a huge history uh, within AI, the AI space, but also the block blockchain technology. In fact, uh, you recently had an interview with Coindesk who named you the Bitcoin OG. So maybe you can tell us what you think um, the opportunities are with AI and also NFTs and so, blockchain. First of all, sailing is close to my heart. It's a sport I have myself experienced since I was seven years old. My father introduced me to sailing back in 1977, I think, or 75, actually 75. And um, I'm currently racing every summer with my kids and also competing in frostbiting, not at your level, but I'm doing my best. And uh, whenever I look at uh, the sport of sailing, I'm thinking what a great opportunity as an investment. Uh, from a metaverse perspective, uh, the, lar the, the largest part of our planet is covered by water. And also, it's very, very important to have a, a close eye to uh, the condition of our planet, right? So sustainability, keeping our planet in good shape, it's very, very important. And uh, recently, I was communicating with Kimball Musk and his team about the big green DAO that he's uh, uh, preparing. There's a fantastic article on Coindesk about it. So there are initiatives that are blockchain based uh, to keep our planet safe. Uh, and I think sailing is that type of sport that gives a different perspective. It's also a sport that is being experienced actually in video games and the upcoming metaverse. So I believe that from an investment perspective uh, in the NFT space, uh, 
there is a great opportunity in, in investing in sailing. Um, I've been uh, communicating with uh, uh, Giancarlo Pedote, who is one of the uh, Golden Globe sailors. He scored eighth place last uh, last uh, edition. And um, also uh, top of his mind uh, as uh, a solitary sailor around the world, the conditions of the ocean and the opportunity to use the metaverse uh, for uh, funding uh, international sailing races at that level is very good. Um, I believe that NFTs is a great solution uh, to uh, embrace the sport of sailing, both as an investment as an educational tool. Obviously, it has to be shaped with a purpose. And that's a little bit why um, I've been uh, named uh, Bitcoin OG on uh, Coindesk is because back in 2013, we started uh, using Bitcoin as a micro payment system for uh, students in Afghanistan. And, um, you know, it has been an, an incredible journey. The book behind me, The Age of Cryptocurrency, written by Michael Casey and uh, Paul Vigna at the time, and both were at the Wall Street Journal, is uh, displays and uh, explain what we did in Afghanistan. But the same principles apply to any other kind of environment, including the very privileged sport of sailing, in which unfortunately is only open to a few people. But I think through the metaverse uh, will actually allow everybody to enjoy at least learning how to use the wind, respect the oceans, uh, and uh, travel safely around the world. So that's that's my perspective about the opportunity here. Yeah, it seems like for the vast majority of sailors, you know, most regattas and efforts are still they still rely on this community based approach, right? Um, and it's like for the which is the 99% of the sailing community, but for the 1% of the sailing community, they're able to self fund, you know, the events like the America's Cup and the Volvo, right? And so there's a real disconnect between, you know, the top of the sport and the rest of the sport, right? And I think that's what you're talking about is how the metaverse and how um, some type of augment reality or e gaming, right? Um, like we saw with the Volvo Ocean Race in the last edition where, you know, sailors could actually sail and compete along with the athletes in real time, right? And tell, tell us how NFTs kind of fit into that model and what that means. Well, a, eventually the issuance of an NFT is a, a certification that that a digital asset, in which can be an image, can be a video, can be a 3D rendering, could be simply a part of uh, a sailing boat um, uh, itself. Uh, that uh, certified uh, digital file is actually brought to market uh, as an opportunity for investment and uh, is uh, issued and guaranteed by the institution or the organization or the sailor or the person who actually, um, let's say, utilize this part, right? An example is what uh, the Formula One team of McLaren has done is breaking down their car, for example, and selling NFTs of each single part, which will allow them to fund uh, the continuous advancements of their, of their own Formula One cars. So same concept applies uh, to the selling world, if we want to. It's a, it's a great opportunity to invest because, uh, let's say, even 100 years from now, those assets will be unique assets certified on the blockchain, and they will always be eligible for a secondary market uh, um, uh, purchase and sell, sell and purchase. And the percentage of the secondary market sales can always go back to the original wallet that issued the NFT in the primary market. So that, uh, let's say, you program your NFT to provide 10% of the secondary market sales back to your team in perpetuity, you could have this type of funding. So, yeah, right. so imagine uh, an America's Cup boat who possibly competed back in the 1980s uh, and now would have uh, 30, 40 years of time of, um, of, uh, uh, of life in the system, uh, hundreds of thousands of people uh, trading those uh, secondary market NFTs, uh, possibly having benefits like accessing the event itself um, or being invited to special, uh, for example, online Zoom calls uh, for uh, seminaries and so on. In the meantime, uh, the constant trading back and forth would fund this team in perpetuity. So that's an example of how great it is. Uh, there is also real life uh, uh, impact with uh, gamifying the access of NFTs with the understanding of how to treat the environment and how to make sure that whatever you do, whatever you do on the water or off the water is in support of this great planet of ours that we inherit. So that's a little bit where I believe it is. Yeah, great. Yeah, and that, that ties back to the Green Dow, right? And the opportunity to really validate, you know, what people are doing in the sailing world, both within the sport and within, you know, other avenues connected to the sport. And, uh, you know, tying it all together and, and showing, you know, what, what value they, they offer and provide, right? Francesco, thank you so much for chatting with me today. Um, for those interested in continuing the discussion, please reach out to me or Francesco on LinkedIn, and we look forward to connecting with you. Thank you. Thank you.